Welcome to lecture for Excel Chapter 5, Exploring 2013 Comprehensive. Chapter 5 deals with subtotals, pivot tables, and pivot charts. The objectives are to subtotal your data, group and ungroup your data, create a pivot table and chart to modify that, and filter and slice a pivot table, create a calculated field, format a pivot table, use pivot table functionalities, and create a pivot chart. This data is utilizing the Excel Chapter 5 Sociology file, which you can find in your Excel um, when you download it from the student data disk. And simply click on your My Documents folder, Excel Student Data Files, Chapter 5, copy and paste this into your classwork folder and I highly recommend that you rename it so that you are do not use the original file open up the file and this is the file that you're going to work with the first thing that we're going to work with is subtotaling and outlines so to subtotal the data, the first thing you need to do is click within your data and then click on the data tab, the sort and filter. We're going to sort by simply changing that to the discipline, adding a level and adding it to the area and sorting and filter that information. Now we're going to create a subtotal. Now the subtotal is under your data tab. Click under the subtotal group and here we're going to select sales whole tail, sale, retail, and total book. Make sure that you have replace current and information there. The default setting set. Click OK. And now we're going to add a second subtotal. This is step exercise one, step two. Again, click on your data tab, subtotal, but now we're going to change this to the area and we're going to use the same values, the sales wholesale, retail, and the total book, but make sure that you do not replace the current subtotals and click OK. Step 3, exercise 1 says to collapse and expand the subtotal so you can ex collapse to outline only the subtotal grand totals by clicking on 1. By clicking on 2 in the outline area, it's going to show the grand and discipline subtotals. By clicking on 3, it's going to show the grand, discipline, and area subtotals. And clicking on 4, you will show all the details page again. Now to group and ungroup the data, you're simply going to go into the data tab, go into group. We're going to create an auto outline. And in my IT lab, what it will tell you is to modify existing outline by creating an automatic outline of your subtotals worksheet. So we're going to click Auto Outline and modify that. And then in order to collapse that data, you would simply go above your totals book sales up at the top and click the minus sign, which collapses and ungroups that data. That is exercise one for Chapter 5. Now in Chapter 5, Exercise 2, you need to change to the Books Data Worksheet. Then what we're going to do is create a pivot table. Exercise 2 works with creating a pivot table. So make sure you're in the Books Data Worksheet and under the Insert tab, you're going to click on recommended pivot tables and this is new in Office 2013 before you just had your other one and we're going to click sum of total book sales and discipline so make sure you scroll down make sure you have the correct one sum of totals book sales by discipline and click OK alright 
So once you've created a pivot table, now we're going to add rows and fields and information. So we're going to drag the addition field and put it into the columns area. So when I click on this addition field, notice it automatically takes it to the sum of addition. Just drag it and put it into the columns area. Drag the copyright field that you're going to add, which again goes into the values. And we want to drag that between the discipline and book titles. So simply just drag that over so that the copyright is between it. Then we're going to expand the information of aging and death. Um, and then simply collapse that information. Save your workbook. Step three in exercise two has you remove and rearrange fields. So you're going to click on that addition drop down arrow and you're simply going to click remove field. The next thing that you're going to do is deselect the book title. That's another way to remove that field. And lastly, we're going to drag the copyright fields from the row area into the columns area and save your information. Now we're going to change the field settings. So click in cell B5, and you're going to click on the Analyze tab. Make sure if when you do this, the reason you're going to click on this is to put you in the pivot table and then you're actually going to change the value field setting. So make sure you're in A3 when you change the sale to the custom name. So we're going to click Analyze, Field Settings, and we're going to change this custom name to Sales by Discipline. in that custom name box. All right, the next thing is um, when you are in that custom name box, make sure if you did not go ahead under the field settings to make sure that you formatted that number as accounting with um, as a number format is what they're going to do and they're going to take that number format to accounting with zero decimal places and then simply click OK. Click OK again. The next thing is you're going to simply edit the row and column labels by simply typing discipline and typing copyright year in the column. So just select it and type over it and hit enter. Remember the pivot table, tools, option tab, um, now that you've changed some information, we're going to go to the book's data. We're going to change this to 125%. And now we're going to go back to the pivot table sheet. So if you haven't renamed that pivot table sheet, right click on it and name it pivot table. Hit enter. And click anywhere within your pivot table. And if you click under the Analyze tab, you can click Refresh, and you will notice that it refreshes that data from the information that you've done. That was Step 525, and that completes Exercise 2. Exercise 3 deals with pivot table options. So we're going to take the addition field and we're going to make it as, put it as a filter. So notice with the filter on top, we can select that button and select multiple items and then only select items one and two for my filters. Okay, and then you can also go into your copyright year and you can filter that information. So here you can do label filters, does not equal to, greater than or equal to, or you can select all and select only 2016 and 2017. The next thing we're going to do is make sure you don't um, just select the boxes in the discipline area to filter it by creating a slicer is you're going to click on the analyze tab you're going to click insert slicer and we're going to do it by discipline so click OK so make sure that you don't change that um, by doing it by the discipline area so first you're going to do the aging and death you're going to um, press and hold the aging and death which deselects that and you will only have 
the following fields in your slicer. A slicer is a window listing all the items in a field and enables efficient filtering. So this is just another way to filter. When you um, click on your slicer, you need to select this slicer. And in order, you would click under your options for your slicer. And this is where you're going to change your columns to two. Change your width to 1.5 by just selecting it and typing it in and hit enter. Make sure it says 1.5 and not 1 comma 5. And then change your height so that it is equal to 2. Make sure you're in the correct area. So that changes your slicer options and customizing your slicer. The next area in exercise 3 is to create a calculated field. In order to create a calculated field, if you are working in the slicer, you need to click within your pivot table and make sure you're on the pivot table worksheet so that the analyze option tab is available to you. Then you're going to go into the calculations area, into the field item and sets, and create a calculated field. You're going to create a calculated field by giving it the name author royalties in the name box and then in the formula box we're going to scroll down to the total book sales and select that by double clicking on it make sure that that equals zero is removed it should start equals total book sales and we're going to take that and multiply it times 0.1 and click OK Now you can give that uh, a custom name um, information by simply um, right clicking and you can actually double click on this and eliminate this custom name so that instead of some of author royalties that you gave it, it's simply going to say author royalties. Now you want to show um, if it has that name, then you're going to give it as another name, author royalties um, information. So, calculation. Click OK. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to show your values and, and make sure that you are on the pivot table. Click on the Analyze tab. Click in the Calculations group, click under the Calculated Fields and Calculations, not the, um, not the field items and sets that you originally clicked on. So click on the Analyze tab and go under your field settings. It's going to notice all your field settings. You want to show the values and you can have the calculations to be percent of total, grand total, and percent of grand total by just scrolling down on your information. So you can select any of these data fields and this is how you would do this. And then of course if you wanted to format it further you can click number format. So now notice it automatically changes it to percent of format. That completes exercise three. Exercise 4 has you apply a pivot table style. So you have to be in your pivot table. Click on the design and here we're going to apply a medium pivot table 3 style to this. this is in the top row. And now we're going to create a pivot chart. So to create a pivot chart, you're so simply going to click under the Analyze tab and in this information you will go ahead and click on the pivot chart in the tools group as long as you're within the pivot chart itself and it's going to show all the pivot charts that are available we're going to do a bar custom column make sure you're not column make sure it's bar custom column and click OK the next thing is to move this to a new sheet so you can click under your design move the chart to a new sheet and you can name it pivot chart and then once you do this you a chart is only worth 
a thousand words if it has doesn't have layers and headers and information you won't be able to do that normally you used to go into your page layout tab and and add information and insert here you go into your design tab add chart element and you would do a chart title above